Hi everyone, welcome back to Islam Unbox. Today I will be talking about the authority of Jesus in Quran. In Quran, actually, if you read carefully, Jesus has the same authority and ability as Allah. For example, let me show you, uh, well, I, I break down the two verses. I'm gonna show you one verse and then another verse in se separately, just to make it easier. Let us go to Surah Al Imran, verse 49. And a messenger to the children of Israel, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I made for you out of clay, as it were, the figure of a bird, and breathe into it. And it becomes a bird by Allah's relief. And I heal those born blind and the lepers. And I quicken the dead by Allah's relief. And I declare to you what you eat. And what you store in your houses. Surely therein is a sign for you if you did believe. So now, so many times when you see this verse. Muslim will say yes, but, but by Allah's leave, by the permission of Allah. But by permission of Allah or God permitted uh, Jesus to permitted Jesus to do these things, you know. So that's why Jesus was able to do these things. But God's permission is not actually it is it means nothing in this context. Why? Because imagine, like, I'm making a video against Allah and His words. And Allah permitted by Allah's leave. Can I say that? Yes, I can say that. You, if you are a Christian or you are a Hindu, that's by Allah's leave. Can I say that? Can we say that? Yes, we can. So, everything that happens actually is by Allah's leave, by the permission of Allah. So, what's the meaning of permission of Allah then? It means nothing in this context, at least. Because none of this, like, I heal those born blind, the lepers, quick and the dead, make a bird out of clay, None of this thing was done by Muhammad. Muhammad could not even do one of one of this, not even one. Right? Now let's see the, the next one. To attest the law which was before me, meaning the Torah, and to make lawful. To you part of what was forbidden to you. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. Now. And to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you. So Jesus made halal of what was haram. This to about what is forbidden and permissible or halal and haram or, or kosher or not right pretty much um, it is a law that's that was actually given by God and now Jesus changed it and Jesus changed it oh this one is halal. Oh, this one was haram. Now it, it is halal. So many people, so many Muslims, um, when they, they, they see this or they read this verse, they're actually confused. Sometimes they see, oh, they read it and they, they say, oh, it is fish. Fish was haram before and then Jesus made it halal. Fish? Really? Let us look at uh, 
the a verse from the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 15 to 19. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what they defile him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable. And he said, Then are you also without understanding? Do you see? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him, since, since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, and is expelled? So this this chap, um, this passage actually, what we see as how Jesus make everything declare or food clean. There's nothing is haram anymore. This is uh, comparable to what Quran says in chapter 50. And to make, to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you. Yeah. And if we go back to verse 49, as you can see here, and I declare to you what you eat. So Jesus is telling people what to eat, what they can eat, and what they can store in the house. Usually, something like that, this kind of law should be from God alone, right? God is the only one that has authority. But now you can see Jesus also has authority. The same as Allah. Let us go to Surah Sa'ad, verse 75. I want to show you something else. Allah said, to, uh, Allah said, O Iblis, what prevents thee from prostrating thyself to one whom I created with my hands? Art thou haughty, or art thou one of the high ones? So, what I want to underline here is how Allah created Adam. Allah created Adam with his two hands. Right? Let us go back to Ari Uran about the bird. In that I make for you out of clay the figure of a bird. How Jesus make the bird with his hands out of clay. Now we go to Surah Al Hijr, verse 28. First, behold, thy Lord said to the angels, I am about to create man from the sounding clay, from mud, molded into shape. How, how Allah created Adam? From by his two hands from mud. Now we go back to Surah Al Imran. How Jesus created the bird with his two hands from clay, from mud is very the same. Now, we go to Al-Hijr. Earlier, we, it was Al-Hijr, verse 4, 28. Now, we go to verse 29, the next verse. So, okay. I will go with uh, Yusuf Ali. When I fastened him and breathed into him my spirit, fell you down in ob obeisance unto him. I'm not going to talk about how Iblis is supposed to prostrate to Adam, but this is about how Allah created Adam and how Jesus created life birth from clay. So Allah breathed his spirit into Adam. 
right? And now, go back again to Al Irma, the same verse, verse 49. And what, after making the bird out of clay, what did Jesus do? Breathe into it. And then, the bird out of clay became a life bird. So how Allah created Adam is the same way how Jesus created bird from clay. And moreover, it is not only Allah or God giving the law of what is permissible to eat and what is, per what is forbidden to eat. But Jesus has the same authority to do the same. Jesus told people what to eat, what can they eat, what they can store in the house. Sometimes Muslims, uh, this is the problem with uh, Arabic. Don't get me wrong, Arabic is also a nice language just like any languages out there right any language out there but there's one um, weakness in particular when we are talking about spirit in this uh, surah al-hijr verse 29 i open every possible um translation tarjamah Look what they say. Spirit, soul, right? Spirit, spirit. Let's continue. Spirit, soul, spirit, soul, spirit, right? Sometimes spirit, sometimes soul. Because in Arabic, there's only one word for spirit and soul. They have no... Uh, they, they cannot distinguish between spirit and soul. And spirit... Spirit of God is not created. Spirit from God is not created. Soul from God that is given to us belongs to us, is created. The Spirit of God that in, is, uh, in us is not created. I will show you in Greek, right? Not only in English, between soul and spirit, right? Now we go with Greek. I use a Google Translate. When when we see when we say spirit in Greek is nevma. Nevma. That's spirit. Now let me see. I'll, let me show you. So Psihi. Psihi. Two different words. Psihi for soul and nevma for spirit in arabic both whether soul or spirit only have one word ruh so that's why they're having hard time understanding that jesus is spirit of god that is eternal jesus is not soul of god or the, the life in jesus was not created but instead, it always exists because it is spirit, not soul. Now, in this in this segment, in this uh, 
in this video i just want to show you how god and or allah in this and jesus they have the same authority not only that i, I want to make it clear if whether you are christian or muslim you i want to show you what what is the the problem with um, with arabic in part in, the, in this uh, particular word you know like ruh so they just say ruh no, ma no matter what it's just ruh 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 when in in the bible it just it has two different words if you go with english or even greek soul or spirit right see or nefma That's why uh, Muslims do not have un the same understanding as the Christians, because the wording is not correct. If the wording is correct, it's easier to understand. Now, of course, it's not only that. I mean, like in Christianity, we do understand that God is spirit. In Islam, they don't have that understanding. They, they will say, oh yeah, God is, God is like, Allah is like Zat. It's like something. It's, it's a, a substance, but don't know what. If you ask Muslim, right? So, like I said, I, I just hope um, whether you are Muslim or Christians, if you are listening to this video or watching this video, I hope these uh, these verses give a little more understanding that Jesus has the same authority as Allah, and that's what makes Jesus God. Well, that's all for me. Um, whether you're Christian or not, or Muslim. Whether you believe in Trinity or not, God bless you all. Have a nice life.